Hello and welcome everyone. Have you ever observed the night sky? If yes, then you must be having a lot of questions in your mind. Like, do all stars look the same? At least they look the same. Or, are all these objects smaller than the earth? And many such questions. So in this video, we'll try to answer all such questions and many other related to celestial bodies. So, take your telescope and get ready for the exploration. So, when we look at the dark sky, the largest object that appears to us is the moon. So, let's take a closer look to the moon. Now, moon is the only natural satellite of the earth and it revolves around the earth in a definite orbit. It takes about a month for the moon to orbit the earth. In fact, it takes 27.3 days to revolve around the earth and 29 days to shift from new moon to new moon. Now let's take the help from moon to look around and see how the other bodies look like. Oh, so this is our solar system. Our solar system has eight planets that revolve around the sun in their definite path and different speeds. So we'll look at them one by one. This is sun. The sun lies in the center of the solar system. And it is one of the heaviest body of the solar system as it contains 99.86% mass of the solar system. Also, it is composed of 70% hydrogen and 28% helium. That is, there are always nuclear reactions on sun which raises its temperature to 5500 degrees Celsius on surface. The core is even hotter. Let's move to the planets. So the first and the closest planet to the sun is Mercury. Now as mentioned it is the closest planet to the sun. It has very hot days as it is close to the sun and very cold nights because at that time sun is not there. It takes about 88 days to complete a revolution. Our earth takes 365 days to complete a revolution but Mercury takes less because it's closer to sun. Mercury has no moons or rings around it. However, we will see some planets like earth which have moon and some others which will have moons and rings around them. The next planet and our neighbor of the solar system is Venus. Now, Venus is the second closest planet to the sun. It is the hottest planet in the solar system. Now, you must be thinking that Mercury is closest to Sun. Then why is Venus the hottest? This is because of the thick carbon dioxide atmosphere of the Venus that traps the heat inside, making it the hottest. Now, one more thing about Venus is it spins in opposite direction to most other planets. In other words, like the Sun rises in east on Earth, then it's opposite on Venus. The sun there rises in the west. Also, Venus is easily visible as the brightest star in early morning and evening. That's why it is known as morning or evening star. You can see it from the earth. And so, the third planet 
that is our planet earth most part of the earth is covered with water and it supports life it takes about 365 days to complete an orbit around the sun earth has one moon that we already met and the atmosphere of the earth acts as a protective shield so our atmosphere protects the earth from the meteorites and other objects which almost destroy before coming to the earth due to our atmosphere so earth is a special planet because it supports life the next planet and our other neighbor is mars so mars is also known as red planet you must have heard this this is because of the presence of iron and other minerals that causes rust and make it rusty so due to that rusty appearance it is known as red planet it is known for its long lasting dust storms in the mars there are a lot of dust storms that continues up to even days and weeks mars has two moons named phobos and deimos like earth had one moon mars now has two moons it is the second smallest planet of the solar system after mercury so let's move to the fifth planet of the solar system that is jupiter now as it appears jupiter is the largest planet of the solar system and it is made up of gas now it is the largest planet but it does not have any surface to land it is completely made up of gas days are very short at jupiter and years are very long now years are long because it is far away from the sun so it takes longer time to revolve but why are days short this is because the spinning speed of the jupiter around about its own axis is very high now jupiter has some defined known moons and some rings around it now the next planet and the one that looks interesting and beautiful is saturn now saturn is also made up of gas like jupiter and has no surface to land upon it has 82 moons around it 82 out of which 53 are known and some are under research among these titan is the largest of all moons saturn has beautiful rings around it and these are made up of ice and rock dust saturn's atmosphere is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium and thus making it hard for the life to survive there so our seventh planet is uranus now uranus was the first planet found using a telescope uranus is an ice giant like the other two planets were made up of gas now the uranus is made up of ice and other icy fluids so it has very low temperature it has 27 known moons and few rings around it now when we begin in the solar system the planets didn't had the moons then some planets started having moons now 
these planets which are larger in size and mass have more moons and rings around them. Now, like Venus, it also rotates from east to west, that is, in an opposite spin. So, there also the sun rises in the west. But the special feature about Uranus is it rotates on its side. Like other planets rotate on the central axis, Uranus rotates on its side. Let's move to the last planet that is Neptune. As it is the last planet, it is farthest of the solar system. It takes around 165 Earth years to orbit around the Sun. And it has 14 known moons and some faint rings around. Being the farthest, it, is, it has very cold temperature and atmosphere here is made up of hydrogen, helium and methane. Thus, not supporting the life. Now, as we have seen all the planets of the solar system, that is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now, let us look at something interesting. And it is the dwarf planets. So what are dwarf planets? In simple words, dwarf planets are the celestial bodies that have some planetary features like they revolve around the sun in their own path and they are not the satellites to any other objects. However, they lack some features of size, mass and gravity that makes them dwarf and not the actual planets. So, there can be a lot of dwarf planets in the solar system. However, we know very few of them. And they are Ceres, Pluto, Hamir, Makemak and Eris. The Pluto was once considered as a planet. But after some times when we developed the concept of dwarf planets, Pluto is now considered in dwarf planets. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked it. And we will continue to discuss these interesting topics about the space and solar system in our coming videos. So that's all for today. Thank you.